ready? <laughs> Welcome back to the Get Up Girl. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. And I am here with Salome. We got two chicks and a mic. We haven't had one of these episodes in a while. So Salome, excited. And where's your green? <laughs> tomorrow. No, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what's today? Wednesday? <laughs> hey. Messing up my days. <laughs> I milk my green. Oh, Salome, I'm excited for today's chat. Because you and I, we've been having some side conversation. We're like, oh, my God, every time we talk, let's turn on the microphone. We yeah. need a microphone to follow us when you and I just chat. So that's what I would like today to be. So I'm going to hand this off to you. It's all up to you now. Oh, I want to talk about being the invitation. Okay. Being the invitation to happiness, to health, to a better version of, of yourself, of everyone, of, of the planet. I would love for you, Joanne, especially because you're, you're better at explaining this, mm -hmm. of how we can be an invitation to create a better or more happy uh, life mm -hmm. without forcefully getting people to do that. Yeah. What does that look like? I wonder. Well, Salome, what does that look like to you? Because since being on the receiving end, oh, we're all on the receiving end. What have you received from that? And I guess in the last year. Yeah. Well, both ends have been the same. Um, but there's been more awareness when I'm the person being invited to do something, mm -hmm. then more awareness of when I'm being the, invi the, the invitation. So I didn't notice mm -hmm. until later on. Okay. It was more awareness again, like when people were inviting me to the and I would and I would feel the pressure of me doing things, of, of okay. them wanting me to do something. And if yeah. you see me in the video, everybody in the podcast, I'm pulling my jacket towards something. But uh, it, 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 I felt that more. I just didn't know what it was. I just felt like, oh, I don't like, I don't like the way, oh, I don't like that person, or I don't like the way they're talking to me. But I never really was aware of why was it that it was, I was allowing it to irritate me of, oh, are you running most of the day? Are, are you, how are you eating? Are you eating healthy? It, it was brought up in a way where it wasn't very inviting and I didn't want to do it. Was know? it a push, Salome, or was that the invitation? It, it was a push, but to their eyes, I think it was, an, they were trying to invite me, but I, I don't think they were aware. Now I'm going to switch it around and I'm going to talk about how I try to be the invitation to other people. And I always wondered why is it that I, that people say that I come off a certain way when I'm really just trying to let them know that they're, they have potential to be better and they have all this talent or they have potential to be a greater person. And it's because of the way I would bring it up. I wouldn't be the invitation. I would, I would look like I was bossy or something, you know, and more in those negative, uh, line. So that's, that's to me, that's my experience. And now since I turned it around and I'm being the invitation to people, I've noticed that it's become so much easier and smoother. It's a smoother ride mm -hmm. when, when people are willing, people are willing now to, to uh, just be invited, be invited and, okay. and, and also join me in this yeah. amazing life. Yeah. I'm going to kind of add some context to it. And when you say invitation, because most people, they're like, yeah, I'm inviting people to things. Mm -hmm. But what we're saying is be the energetic invitation. Mm -hmm. And many times when you're the energetic invitation, words don't even need to be said. Mm -hmm. You can show up on social media. You can show up to a party. You can show up to Christmas and be the energetic invitation. And Salome, what that is or what that looks like and feels like is actually when your walls and barriers are completely down mm -hmm. and you're expanded out energetically, people will be drawn to you like moths to a flame. And when your walls are up and you're inviting somebody to something, others can feel that. And that's what you were talking about before. You could feel it and you're like, oh, this person's bugging me. They're so nice, but they're getting on my nerves. Right? I want to mm -hmm. throw, I just want to poke them in the eye. Mm -hmm. And it's because they have so many walls up. So it's energetically exhausting. You're like, oh, man, you exhaust me. And I am the queen of that. I've done that for many, many, many years. I should get, you know, right here. If you can see, I, got, I should, uh, 
The, the Grammy Award, if, you, if you're on podcast and can't see it, the Grammy Award for being the superior energy. I was such a, I had the superiority idea that I knew better. I'm here to help you. Don't you see that I'm here to help you? But really what that is, it's energy of I know better. Mm -hmm. And all we know is for ourselves. I know what is required for Joanna. Salome knows what's required for Salome. And Salome, we are energetic inner beings that are highly freaking aware. We're highly aware. And so what happens is, Salome, you and I and others are aware of what potential is in other people. So what we want to do is we want to help them because we see the potential. Yeah. And yet, but the superiority is when we have the wall up and we're trying to push it and force it on them and they're not ready yet. They can't hear it. And that's not kind. Mm -hmm. And everywhere that we bought what kind is, I wonder if we can let that go and start over because everything Salome that I bought that was kindness it, it is like now is so BS to me. Like that is such BS, Joanna. That's such a lie. Cause what I bought was kind was to help them. That is kindness. I need to help them. But what's actually kind is allowing them to choose when they're ready. They're not ready yet. They can't hear it. That's kind. But shoving it down their throat and pulling them and making them go with you is not kind. And then what happens is there's there's separation, there's like animosity, there's resentment. Mm -hmm. And then we start, Salome, when we're trying to help others, we start to resent that person, that energy, because we're like, don't they see what I'm doing for them? Don't they see what I'm like trying to help them or whatever? Mm -hmm. And then this resentment starts to create and then we lose those relationships. Yep. Right. Yep. So do you have any examples of those? Cause I could talk for days of examples that I've learned. I've won this award. <laughs> Miss which, Superior, Joanna Vargas. Which version of me should we go uh, talk about? <laughs> uh, last month, uh, last year. <laughs> Cause we're always changing and growing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and say the, the, the positive invitation actually that I experienced that I knew that the positive energy invitation worked because of, of our Saturday Beyonce class that we had our free class. That yeah, this was a fitness class in case anybody listening doesn't know we hosted a free fitness class called operation Beyonce and we were inviting people. So take it from there, Salome. Yes. yes. So, so it, it felt, felt so easy. Easy. Yes. Yeah. When we'll just post it up on social media or DM people about it, it, it felt very uh, light in weight also in my shoulders, everything physical even. It felt like, oh, come and join me. Come and join us. Come and join the fun. Rather than having in my mind, they better join. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? They need this. Yeah, yeah. They better, <laughs> they better know that they need this. They better know that this is like the way to happiness. You know, it, 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 it really was more like, come. Like, oh, they would be so much fun if you joined. I, I, you know, it was that mentality that literally changed everything the way i texted the, my 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 uh just, even just the paragraphs on just how much i texted or dm'd people it it was so different and i i saw the difference also between that and when i'm i will go back into text even and look at mm, mm. ooh I see it yeah <laughs> i see it i get it and I'm sorry. award goes to <laughs> exactly yeah. because i love i mean I just going based off the way i really when i started working out and i was like oh shoot this is so good it feels so great and i wish everybody had this feeling but i tried inviting people but it didn't come off like a like a great you know positive light um energy when i would do that uh I, it, it, it seemed forceful again and it's not like a bad that I was trying. It, it was more because I I knew that this was a great thing because I was experiencing it. And I wanted people to experience the same way that I was experiencing too. Yeah. But we forget sometimes that everyone is different. You know, we shift differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. <sighs> wow. Okay. Because I was on my journey, as we all are. 
right? Mm -hmm. And I know if I heard the same thing, we've all heard this, right? Where you can hear the same thing mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it sounds different mm -hmm. one day. Mm -hmm. And that other person's like, I've been telling you this for years. And you're like, yeah, but I'm on a different part of my journey and I can receive it now. I can hear it now. Yeah. And that's what's kind. And in, in consciousness, we can receive everybody for where they are without them, Salome, needing or having to be or do anything to make us feel good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that one more time. Mm -hmm. Being able to receive another person, whatever they choose to do, and they require nothing for you to feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and that's receiving. That is... Um, well, let's go back to the superiority, you know, superiority energy. Mm -hmm. It's that is when we know or believe that we know better because we were higher mm -hmm. and that we have to. It is our duty. It is our right to make people change in right. order to make them better. And actually what's kind is allowing them to choose and being the invitation for them to choose, mm -hmm. not forcing it down their throat. And Joanna to also say, I'm still here. You know, I'm not, not more like if you don't choose it, bye. You <laughs> yeah. know, it's like, no. Okay. Yeah. You, when you can, can do it, change your, whatever you need to change. I'll still be here. Yeah. I'm, saying, I'm still here. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to add on to that Salome, because with my, the little asterisk, that doesn't also mean that you're a, a doormat because mm. I think a lot of people will receive that as, oh, that means that I'm too nice. I'm going to be taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. And that's not what we're talking about. You are not a doormat. You still all, well, we always have choice. Mm -hmm. You can always choose. So you can say I'm here. And if somebody is taking advantage of you, that is your choice mm -hmm. then to do what is required that works for you at that moment. Mm -hmm. But when we go in a solidification and go, they can't take advantage of me, this is going to mm -hmm. happen. And blah, that's exhausting. And we always can choose when that new thing comes into our life, make another choice, make another choice because Salome sometimes what's required at this moment right now with you and me, let's say may be different. That's required from like for me and Joe blow 10 mm -hmm. minutes from now. Mm -hmm. So if I make it solid and go, I always do this. I always say that that's not working from choice. That is right. not working from receiving all of it. So mm -hmm. sometimes choosing things that don't look so pretty will actually create more for yeah. your life. Sometimes choosing bitch will create a lot for your life. Mm -hmm. And sometimes not choosing it will create more. Mm -hmm. it, it really depends. And uh, I have a little story. I was selling something on Facebook marketplace. You can sell, you know, all kinds of goods and things of that nature. And I've been selling things on there for about two years. And especially with the pandemic, really been selling a lot of stuff. And it's, it's fun for me because I learn a lot. I learn a lot about sales, about people, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it, it keeps me busy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So today I was selling something and this guy came to meet me at my house and right away, I didn't like his energy right away. I'm like, Ooh, I don't like this guy. He's pompous. He, he, you know, again, I'm highly aware. I know he didn't have to say a word. I know exactly who this guy was. He wasn't a fan of women, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And as soon as he opened his mouth, he was very condescending. He wasn't very nice. And I could feel Salome, my walls going up. Like I wanted to fight this guy. I want to fight him just so I could be right. You know what I mean? And he wanted to tell me everything that was wrong with the thing that I was selling because he wanted to lowball me. And sometimes, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And sometimes right. that, that works. Salome, sometimes people lowball me. I'm like, fine, take it. It's all good. Like it's all good. This time I was like, okay, Joanna, you get to choose. Do you want to take that less price and just sell it? Or are you working out of ego? I mean, what's going to create the most here? Because I really felt, Salome, that the ego wanted to come in and just prove him wrong. You know, let me just fight him just because, just for every woman on this planet. I mean, the whole story in my head started to come up. And I was like, I had this whole thing within three seconds in my brain. Right? I'm like, all right, Joanna, what would you like here? And I'm like, Whoa. And I got, I don't want to sell it to him. 
And I said, well, thank you. And I walked away. And he goes to his car and he had a very loud car, Sal Salome, like I'll just so you knew if he was driving away and he didn't leave because I, I didn't hear the car. And I'm like, he's still here. <laughs> Five minutes later, he, you know, on Facebook DMs me. All right, I'll give you a little bit more money. It wasn't the original price, but a little bit more. And then I asked if I sell it to him at this price, will it create more? Yeah, cool. So I sold it to him. And I was like, Joanna, you're going to walk out there and see him walls and barriers down walls and barriers down. Cause I wanted to kick his butt. I really did. And I was like, but I could just feel cause his walls were so high up that I was responding to his energy. And really I could care less Solomon about this guy. You know what I'm like? Why am I getting all worked up about this stupid guy? Cool. All right, Joanna, if you choose to sell it to him, let's choose expanded. Don't contract. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have a bad day because of his energy. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. I think a lot of us would have chosen that. No, he's not going to tell me what to do. Oh, hell no. Look that, that energy. So I'm like, Joanna walls and barriers down expand. I walked out, I waved to him, gave it to him. And you could see that he didn't like that. You know, it was like, no, you're supposed to fight back. Why aren't you fighting back? And I was like, okay, bye. Thanks. You know? And <laughs> He, it was like, mm, no, you're supposed to fight. And I, I was like, it's not that I'm the bigger person. Because a lot of people will say, who's going to be the bigger person here? Is that superiority again? Mm -hmm. I'm the bigger person. Who's going to be the bigger person? That's still you saying that you're better than them. Yeah. I'm not better than he. And he is not better than I. We are two human beings. I have my life. He has his life. And all I can do, not all, but I can choose. And he can choose. Mm -hmm. But do you see what I'm saying, Salome, about what we've what we've bought as in be the bigger person. Yep. Don't let anybody, uh, you know, swindle you, et cetera, whatever. And I'm like, I don't buy that because I bought that for so many years, Salome. And yeah. the 20 year old Joanna would have been like, oh, hell no. Uh uh. He, mm -hmm. This guy's not going to win. I would have fought him to the death. And why? For what reason? just because. And I was like, boom, let him go. And I'm just like, bye. Cool. But without the superiority, I'm better than he. Mm -mm. So yeah. 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 Joanna, that, that takes me back to all my retail jobs. <laughs> let yeah. me speak to the manager. And I'm like, I'm the manager, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, just, it's funny. And they're like, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but I've learned a lot about being the invitation as a manager, uh, being, having all these complaints, um, but also the way I respond, that's such a big deal because somebody can be yelling in your face, which I've had people do that, yell at my face, this is and this and that and blah, 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 blah. And they, you know, they have complaints and I think about, okay. What is this person going through? This person is frustrated. Mm -hmm. I'm mad. This person is frustrated. I get you. I understand, you know? And something that with retail that I've learned a lot, uh, there aren't rude customers. There are customers with needs. And the thing is they, 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 they are asking for something. They're frustrated. So as a manager at, or customer service, we had to empathize with them too. And if they, you show that, mm -hmm. totally change. Yeah. The Salome, when you, uh, let's go back to when you said empathize. Is that the same energy of lowering your walls so then they lower their walls? Yes. So I have to, in my words, say, I completely understand where you're coming from. And I'm very sorry. But not say, I totally get where you're coming from. And I'm really sorry. You know, like, or, or you have mm -hmm. putting that attitude really looking at them directly in the eyes and saying, you know, what? even the body language too. walls and barriers down. Don't, don't seem so tense, completely understand where you're coming from. And I'm really yeah. sorry. What can I do to help you? What yeah. What's going to create more here? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I wonder Salome, cause it, is that solid though? Does that work for every single customer or there sometimes there's customers and that doesn't work? It, yeah, no, it doesn't. Right. And, and that's when I still continue my walls and barriers down. I still have to uh, have my walls and barriers down. And and I'll say, okay, well, let's think of, about different options. Okay. Uh, I, well, regardless of what happens, 
this is something I learned in the past year, maybe more that when it continues, you, you have to let them know, this is what I can do for you. Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Unfortunately, this is it. And sometimes when you give them those options, it helps too. Um, but unfortunately, there are times where you, these people leave, they throw coffee at you. I've been, I, somebody threw coffee at me one time at, at Coffee Bean when I worked at, as a barista. And um, <laughs> I mean, Sometimes. I've been through it. I've been through it. <laughs> 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 so okay, wait, um, follow me. L looking back at that, and I wonder, were your walls and barriers up of why they threw the coffee at you? I'm just I'm curious. Like, did something happen where it kept escalating and it was like that was the last straw, that was the last thing they could do because they were drowning, so they threw the coffee at you. Uh probably. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not yeah. gonna say no. I'm not gonna say no. And I'm not gonna say yes either. Because I don't remember that much of that time. I just remember uh, really trying my best and everything and that happening. But I totally can see myself with like an eye roll or 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 my my intentions not being very pleasant. Because mm -hmm. that was me back then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go ahead and say, oh, I was the sweetest mm -hmm. person. No, I, I had the mentality of... I'm always right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to kind because kind doesn't mean sweet either. Yeah, that's true. Isn't that interesting how we think sweet? I'm like, I can be a dragon fire rawr, and kind. Mm -hmm. that's you true. know, the and, the end. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm, I'm calling BS on everything I've ever learned without my walls and barriers up. Like, oh, that's BS. That's a lie. That's a lie. Like, oh, wow. This is so like all these things I've learned are, are pretty false for me. Mm -hmm. They don't ring true. And what rings true for me is, and you know, I, I wonder if it's different for anybody out there listening, but what rings true for me, Salome, is that I can be all of it. We are infinite beings that are all of it. And kind to me means it's not solid. It's, it's not. It means whatever is required for that person at that moment. Mm. Because sometimes kindness can be, let's say, for example, you and I, I give you some tough love, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And that might be kind for you. And maybe for another person, that's not kind. Right. They need a hug or, you know, whatever. But it doesn't right. feel kind at the moment. Right. And that might be kind. So I wonder if the word kind or all the words in the dictionary have mm -hmm. so much solidity that we've made them so like, this is the yes. definition and that's it. And that's yes. where the abundance comes in. Of yes. What if words don't have to be so solid and actually mm -hmm. mean so much? And I think once we remove the solidity from words, and I know words have power, I totally get it. Right. And what else is possible with words so that they are not able to hurt our feelings mm -hmm. or have control over us? Mm -hmm. Because judgment, Salome, is created to control others. Yes. We use judgment to control others. So if somebody were to judge me and it hurt my feelings, and now I don't choose to do that because I'm now embarrassed or I feel like they hurt my feelings, now that person or people have control over me. Mm -hmm. So judgment is used as control. You know, so with the coffee throwing, I wonder if that was their last resort to control you. And so let me throw the coffee because I'm drowning here. It's mm -hmm. like you know, when you're drowning, it's the last thing before you're, you're going to die and you're just going for anything. Mm -hmm. And so when we're drowning, oh, we will do anything in our power to, to not drown, you know, and what's kind at that moment. Mm -hmm. so I don't, what do you think about that? The judgment part? <sighs> okay. The judgment part can be another 30 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. I was looking at the time. Shoot. <laughs> I have to do another one next week. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I do want to talk about judgment a little bit more, but let, let's put a bow. What do you think about that? I think it, it comes with that too, uh, with judgment and the definitions of what, what words are. Uh, let me let me let me jump into this really really quickly. Uh, 
when you started questioning me and say, oh, when I would tell you, oh, because so-and-so says that I'm I'm a bitch or that they said that I, I'm very, they said this about me, they said that about me. Something that really helped me is when you would go and say, are you? Are you? A bitch? Are you? <laughs> and you're like, the brain's like. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, uh, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, this. And I'm this and I'm kind and I'm and I also am very nice and I care, but I'm also a person that can be this and that and this and that. And it's true. And that's something I love bringing that up to other people, too. And they're like, oh, well, so and so you call me this. And are you? Are you? And then, yeah. And I remember you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, cool. So, and it's like, but, again, okay. it's not, but, but don't don't like lag it. You know, it's like I am. But no, 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 not but. Yeah. <laughs> you can be, if you're 1%, 2%, you are. It doesn't yeah. matter. And you could choose it. Yeah. Oh like, my God. I could be a very good female dog. Very good. I should, another award. Another award. <laughs> bitch award. <laughs> right? And no. knowing, Salome, that we're potent. We have so much potency, so much power. Rather than looking at it like a hindrance and somebody called me that and I'm not a bitch. And what if we, what else is possible if we looked at that as a potency, as like a tool, as like, oh, I can choose that when I want and I choose kindness or I choose happiness, whatever. Again, I have a good example for those Harry Potter fans. Okay. So <laughs> there's the, I don't know if you've ever done the Harry Potter sorting hat where if you're like, what part of the house you are Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor. Okay, Ravenclaw. A little quizzes, you mean? Like a little quizzes of what house you're in. Yeah. Joanna, I took mine like a long time ago. I'm Slytherin. I'm the snake. But and you're like, oh. I'm the snake. Whatever. <laughs> but I, I was like, I was using it as a. A badge? Um, yes. Yes. And I thought it was like, okay, yeah, I'm Slytherin. I'm Slytherin. I'm Slytherin. And even then, so I started saying, so now I was like, oh, Slytherin. I took it again, and I'm not Slytherin. Interesting. I came up with gray, uh, Ravenclaw. Or and are you both? And then, okay, you're, I'm going, I'm going there, I'm going there. <laughs> I started taking different quizzes, and it kept changing up, and I was like, you know what? I'm all the houses. Heck yeah. Oh, girl, that's awesome. Yes. And every 10 seconds, you're different. So if you're yeah. going to take it again right now and take it tomorrow. Yeah. But you see how, yeah, we make it solid. I'm like, no, no, I'm this person. Yeah, yeah. I'm Slytherin. I'm Slytherin. I'm Slytherin. And it's like, okay, well, take the houses. Now take different quizzes. Now take it different. You know what? I'm every freaking color. <laughs> I'm not just a red. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. And you know what's funny, Salome, is that you were the Slytherin before. But if somebody were to call you you know, like, oh, you're such a snake or whatever. And then you'd be like, oh, no, I'm not. But then you just took the quiz and you're like, yeah, but that's different. I could say it, but they can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'll, yeah, but now it's like, okay, you're such a Slytherin. Okay. Well, cool. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so interesting because we'll put ourselves into boxes, categories, and I have different friends that know me for different things. So some people know me for being so sweet and like a pussycat and then others know me for being like so harsh and like a businesswoman. And they're like, I've never seen that side of you. And I'm like, is it a side or am I just all of it? So I'm, do you see what I'm saying? But we're, we put each other in boxes where you're supposed to always look like this. So what happens is we, when we have restrictions on people, when we have expectations on people, that's what creates resentment because they're supposed to be like that all the time. And then if they ever change, then we have resentment with that person. But it's like, we're always ever changing all the freaking time. Oh yeah, we started, started with horoscopes. <laughs> oh yeah, but you have to be like this. Yeah, like, yeah. You are like this and you're like, I was like, when people ask me what my horoscope was, I'm like, I mean, I don't, I don't believe in that anymore. I just kind of like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be a Virgo, but. Ah, like mm -hmm. I kind of, kind of give it like that little like. I mean, it says if I'm into horoscopes, if you believe in so, that sort of thing, then I I am a Virgo. But you know, you, it's the same thing as the houses. Like, oh, you're a Virgo, so you're like this. Oh, Virgos, yeah. I don't get along with Virgos. Or like you know, or oh, it says yeah. that I you know Virgos are best friends, or Virgos are the best that is like. I guess, but why yeah. are you going based off what you're reading? But everyone's different. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, I'm going to jump in here and also say having, uh, what's the word? 
Oh, oh gosh. Uh, uh, okay, I'm totally blanking, but the word I'm having allowance for if you don't align and agree or believe in somebody else. Right. Do you know so other people? Oh, no, this is the only way. So if somebody is totally in a horoscope, it's like, cool. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Sagittarius. Tell me what that means. Cool. And then this person, like, cool. But yeah. everybody's like, what do you believe in? What do you? I'm like, I don't know. You have to ask me tomorrow. And then the next day, I'm going to have a different answer every day. You know? I yeah. I think that the Republican for today, I might be a Democrat tomorrow. I'm going to be yes. the next day. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Today I'm a lesbian. Tomorrow I'm like, I really love men. I mean, it's like, oh. whatever. I'm all of it. I love everybody. Yes. <laughs> we, 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 oh man. So the Dance Your Life podcast, Jan, Danny and I talk about that, by the way. Oh, interesting. Okay, everybody, shout out to the Dance Your Life podcast. Yeah. And again, without, without um, creating barriers with people that are like, I am gay. I, uh, this Cool. Mm -hmm. And I am all of it. Cool. But what happens is when we align and agree with something and then we make others wrong for mm -hmm. not aligning and agreeing with what you align and agree with, because what if we don't align and agree with anything? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like mind blowing. Mm -hmm. But people don't like that, Salome. What do you think? And I'm like, I don't know. Well, right now, this is what I think. But tomorrow might be different. People don't like that. No, you have to you have to be like this. And I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I could have a conversation right now, but yet it, it might change tomorrow. It might. Um, so it's having allowance for with whomever, what others align and agree with. Do you get what I mean? Gosh, I hope I articulated that. Well, yes, totally. Because I was, again, the, the last conversation I had this morning in this interview was every day I find myself always exploring and learning something, even if it's something small that you learned one day, that changes you. It, yeah. Because you learned something, you added something. Yeah. So. Yeah, food. Let's take food for an example, because food has like very low charge to it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I don't think people are going to fight against food, right? But mm -hmm. how many things have you said that you don't like, and then all of a sudden later you like them? Yeah. Right. You're like, oh, I don't like fish. And all of a sudden, oh, wait, I do like fish. No, no, you said you don't like fish. No, it's not that. No, it's more more with the I don't eat fish or <laughs> I don't. I'm not a sea per. I'm not a seafood person. Yeah, no. it's interesting because people will ask me, do you like beef? And I'm like, well, and here's the answer. Literally. Uh, Well, it depends. And they're like, what do you mean? It depends. I don't know. It just depends if I feel like it. Like, I don't have an answer for you. It's so hard. No, I get you. It's <laughs> <laughs> but people, we want answers. I'm like, uh, yeah. And so I feel like I'm five years old again, trying to give my parents an answer. So I ended up just, and again, let's go back to what's kind. So if somebody's like, well, do you like beef? Yes or no. And I'm like, well, if it's kind to tell them, yes, I'm just going to say yes. But if this person is open to a different conversation, if that's kind, I'll have a different conversation. Whatever's kind for that moment, yet you are not a pushover and a doormat. To l that doesn't mean that I allow anybody just to, you know. In other words, read the room. <laughs> yeah. And you just, yeah, and you're playing chess. But a lot of things I think people think chess means that, uh, oh, you're, you're just, man, you're doing it so that everybody else is happy and you're not. And I'm like, mm, I get, I get that. And yet, but it's a whole different energy of being and consciousness mm -hmm. where we're not taught that. Yeah. We're not taught that we're taught. Here's the rules. And if you don't play by the rules, you know, this is going to happen. And I'm like, I'm here to like take all the rules and erase them and mm -hmm. start different. And it's such a different place to live. Mm -hmm. It's a very different place to live. Uh, it's much more easeful. It's not mm -hmm. easier. It's not easier, but it's much, much more ease. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is good. All right. Yeah. Oh, this is good. I don't know if we have any comments or anything, but this is really good. Oh, wait, we do have a comment. Yes. Oh, Ashley. Thanks, Ashley. Two intelligent beauties. We'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> that could be also Slytherins. Slytherins, yes. sir, right? We're beautiful and we're snakes. <laughs> we're all on it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching or listening. Appreciate you so much. And Anything that you take away from this, DM us on social media and all the platforms, Joanna Vargas Official and Salome Valdez Official.
Is that yours? Yeah, we're both official. <laughs> <laughs> Not with each other. No, just kidding. We're official. Oh, yes, other, yes. <laughs> Let us know if you want more two chicks and a mic. Yes, yeah, so I got that. And you want some more with my dad. So more to come. Yeah, more conscious conversations like this that can that can truly shift yes. things. Truly shift without the the point of view of this is right, this is wrong. Here's how you're supposed to do it because that's exhausting and it doesn't work. As it, you'll hit a limit yes. as I. Maybe it was just me, party of one. But yeah, I lived in that world for many years and it was exhausting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Salome, for being here. This was a lot of fun. Until next time, y'all, remember to get back up. And if you want something different, I'll just choose something different. Yes. All right, Salome, any last words? Thank you so much, viewers and listeners. <laughs> As she <laughs> leans in. Bye, y'all. Uh-oh. <laughs> Joanna, learn how to use this. <laughs>